Shelby Smith with Jiminy Crickets coming at you live from the cricket camp. And talk to you today about baby crickets and cricket eggs and hatching those eggs. So for those of you who don't know, baby crickets are called pinheads. So unlike other insects, crickets don't have a larval stage. So when they hatch out of their eggs, they look like fully formed crickets just on the very small side. Um, pinheads is a very appropriate name for these guys because they are teeny tiny. And because of that, I will say since I started cricket farming, pinheads have been my biggest pain in the rear, my biggest challenge, I think, cricket farming has been keeping pinheads alive. And why is that? So when they first hatch out, they're actually white, and then they turn a little bit gray in a couple of minutes, and that's because they don't have a fully formed hardened exoskeleton. So what does that mean? That means if your conditions are too dry, they're going to dry out. But at the same time, if your conditions are too wet and you have condensation, so droplets of water in places, they'll drown in that. Um, additionally, feeding them, they need food. They will double in size about every three days for a couple weeks. So they're going to need food, but it needs to be small enough so that they can eat them. Uh, so pinheads are very challenging, but uh, if you can figure them out, then you end up with tripping crickets like those over there. So enjoy this, all about pinheads. Probably more than you ever wanted to know about cricket eggs and baby crickets. As always, any questions you have, let me know. So these are cricket eggs that are about, I would say, 24 to 48 hours away from hatching. So they've gone through a lot of changes in the last eight, nine days. They're quite opaque look like little grains of rice. These guys will be hatching in the next 48 hours, I would say. This incubation bin has begun to hatch, as you can see them fluttering, or fluttering around all over the place. The little white ones have just hatched. Those will turn gray in a few minutes. So now I need to go set up Cricket Baby bins. I need to do this in advance because it takes some time and the longer that the baby crickets, once I transfer them out of their breeding trays, are what's called carpeted, so basically crawling on top of each other, the longer they're like that, the higher the mortality rates. So I like to get my bins all set up in advance because stacking those egg cartons, although it looks very quick in a time lapse, is actually time consuming. So those need to be set up beforehand. And now that those bins are set up, then it's time to transfer the pinheads from the incubation trays and find out exactly how many pinheads have hatched that day. So that's what I'm doing now. So that's about 50,000 cricket babies. Zoom in quick to show you guys. But I need to move quickly now because having them bunched together like that is not good for their health. But that's about 50,000 of them. Once I know how many pinheads I'm working with, then I get together feed trays, which you can see there, and I get together waterers. And finally, it's time to put the babies in their new homes. So I dump the pinheads, about 10,000 of them, onto a feed tray. And as you can see, they disperse quite quickly. There's some potatoes in there for them to snack on as well and to get some moisture that they're not at risk of drowning in. But now those babies will be in there for roughly 45 days and then it'll be time to harvest again. Thanks so much for watching and for more info please visit www.jiminycrickets.com.